In this tutorial, we're going to take a really quick look at how to easily copy and paste your animation from one rig to another rig. Now, before I begin, just want to predicate that this requires both rigs to be identical. Um, they need to have the exact same features, the same layout, all of that, in order for it to work uh, smoothly and easily. Um, it is possible, of course, some in some ways you might be able to transfer components from uh, one rig to another that's not exactly identical, but it's going to be messy. In this case, we might just keep a simple example where we have a ball. Um, let's just say that I have this ball here, uh, and I happen to want to add animation to it from another file. And here's how I would go about doing that. So I start out with just the plain rig. There's no animation on it whatsoever yet. It's just the default file that I've opened up here. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up a version uh, of the ball that's already animated. So I'm just going to go to File, Import, and I'm just going to go and find a copy of that. There we go. Now, um, this will come in and it is animating from a different view. Actually, it's animating from the side view here. I was in the front view. So let's just quickly have a look at this. You can see here that this animation is just a standard bouncing ball. It doesn't even have squash and stretch on it. It just comes to a roll and stops. So this is the animation that we want to basically copy and paste from this ball onto this ball. So here's how we're going to do that. All right, so there's uh, we, what we want to do is we want to work through each of the different components uh, separately. So if I just go ahead and turn off the visibility of the floor there, what we have is our um, character control for both of these. It's called character here on the ball that we brought in that has the animation on it. Uh, the namespace is set up so that it's the original name of the file colon and then the name of the uh, controller. So what we want to do is to take the animation that's on here and apply it to here. Well actually there's no real animation on this, it's just a value, but let's pretend that there is. Let's just hit S so that we actually get some animation there. And we can go back to frame one here. And what we're going to do is uh, select first the object that you want to copy from. And so we'll do that. Now we go to uh, Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. Pull over our Graph Editor here. And in the Graph Editor, what we want to do is select all of the channels that we want to copy. And in this case, we're just going to copy everything. And usually I copy everything. So it's very important, however, that you actually click and drag on the channels itself. Just selecting the component itself, or just selecting the uh, controller itself, is not enough. Grab the channels. Then go to, in the graph editor, Edit, Copy. We just go to the Edit Copy options real quick. So this is Copy Keys, and uh, I believe these are the default settings. Let's just make sure they are. And uh, that's usually fine. I mean, if you had a specific uh, range that you wanted to copy from, you could be more specific this way. But generally speaking, all is good. So we'll click Copy Keys. And now what we want to do is come over and grab this guy, the one that's on the rig that we want to apply it to. And we're going to choose Edit, Paste, Options. Now, again, just verifying that these are the standard default settings, uh, we just want to make sure our time, ra time range is set to current. Our paste method is set to merge. And these are the defaults. So this is good. If you needed to offset the timing by a certain number of frames, you could. Um, if you needed to create copies of the animation, you could. But just generally speaking, if we want to keep it really nice and simple, we can just hit paste keys. And now what's happened is you'll see that the ball... Um, character control has sort of snapped over here on top of the one from our animation file. And the same thing is going to happen now when I go ahead and decide to copy from the actual control main uh, controller. So we'll go in and here in the graph editor grab all of the channels, edit, copy. All right Now click on the control main on the object that we want to um, animate. We'll go to edit paste right and now it looks like it disappeared but it really just popped up here and they're just sort of sitting on top of each other so as I play through here now we'll just see a perfect animation so I remember this is the one right here that we uh, just brought in um, 
We know that because it's got the namespace that indicates this. I could grab all of these here and just hide them, or I could even delete them if I wanted to. And I would still have the animation applied to my original um, ball that, remember, at the beginning was not animated, but now it is. It's, it has gone ahead and inherited all of the animation uh, that we had on the one that we brought in. Now, of course, there are a few other controls on this that I haven't uh, necessarily animated yet, like the squash stretch control, which if I just rotate this around 90 degrees, we can better see it. Um, on your ball, very likely, you'll have squash and stretch going on, so you would need to repeat that same operation for squash stretch and any other uh, controllers that you might have. This is very simple on a b uh, bouncing ball like this. Obviously, on a character that is, uh, you know, like a humanoid character of some sort, I generally would start at the uh, top of the hierarchy and work my way down. So basically the root control, then the hips, and then usually the torso, arms and legs, uh, head, hands, fingers, toes, those sorts of things. I would work in that order. And I do each one one at a time. I don't try to multi-select things because it can confuse Maya. So the safest way to go is to just work one controller at a time and grabbing all of the relevant channels that you need to copy. I hope that's been of help, and good luck.